Um, from Sulit Yacht Charter, we're going to spend a few minutes um, just um, uh, explaining to you um, how to get on the water and uh, the fact that um, yacht cruising is accessible to um, everybody and not just the rich and famous. Okay, so many years ago, sailing in the North Sea, um, uh, um, uh, 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 sailing into one of the harbours, um, uh, the old instructor that I was with um, said to me, look at all the people on the pier. Every single one of them will um, uh, um, be watching your boat, looking at you, thinking what adventures you had, where have you been, and want to be on the boat. And most people think um, uh, um, yacht cruising is inaccessible. And Helen's got another similar story that she wants to explain. When I used to be um, in the south of France about 25 years ago, I used to think that, again, these people sitting on the back of the boat having dinner, it was absolutely marvellous. And I used to wander up and down and pretend to get on the boat and have my picture, you know, taken like this, trying to get on, um, because I thought it was completely inaccessible. So that was where I came from to start with. And what we're here to present is the fact that you can actually quite easily sail something like this, but people just don't realise that, how easy it is. So, how to get on the water? There are lots of options available to everyone, and we're just going to run through some of those. Yeah. First one is to get trained. So, your RYA courses, we'll move on to that in a second. The other one is to do skipper charter, where basically you just pay for um, a berth and you can go out on the boat and someone else takes responsibility for that. The next one is bare boat charter, so a bit like having your driving licence, you're qualified to take the boat out, you can come along, hire one and off you go to your mates. And the other option is also buy your own boat, which is, um, you know, there's plenty on offer here today. And within that, buying your own boat, um, we're going to talk about yacht management, which is another way of recouping some of the costs involved in buying your own boat. Okay, so tra training, training, training. Um, um, not only does the training um, uh, give you a greater appreciation of, um, uh, of sailing, but also once you become trained, it acts as a passport to um, their boat charter, which means you can charter a yacht anywhere in the world. Um, full range of courses. Um, uh, so um, the RYA um, have lots of recognised courses, and uh, the benefit of these courses is that they are um, progressive, they're structured, and they are fully supported, not only in terms of liter literature, but also by the RYA. Um, the, there are lots of training centres here and abroad, um, but there are certain things that you need to um, uh, um, look at in terms of choosing which which course. So uh, the location is probably one of the key, key aspects of choosing a training centre. So choose a training centre that's got the aspects of sailing that you're interested in, particularly tied commercial vessels and the harbours. Um, you don't want to, um, you shouldn't train in the Mediterranean should you wish to sail in the sun, because the Mediterranean is not tied, so one training is best to um, have, have those um, aspects um, as part of the training. Um, think about the quality of the boat that you're going to be trained on, um, and also think about the um, learning style of the instructor. Make sure that the learning, learning style is similar to, to the learning style which you require. Okay, skipper charter. Oh, my head's been cut off on that picture. Very good. <laughs> um, Skipper Charter is basically where you pay for a berth, you can pay for a double berth or a single berth and you hire the whole boat, if that's not going on very well either, you can either hire the whole boat or a cabin. Um, you have a qualified skipper on board who takes care of everything, um, so you don't have to worry about um, your level of sailing, you don't, you don't need to know what to do because he's going to do it for you. And also, you can get involved as much or as little as you wish. So if you just want to sit on the back and have a coffee or a gin and tonic, that's fine. If you want to learn what to do and you know what this winch does and what that rope does, it's it's very nice introduction to sailing. And very, very cost effective. We run our weekends and there are other weekends available from around £200 a person. That often includes your food, your entertainment, your accommodation. You can't stay in a hotel for that for the weekend. 
and everyone likes going away for the weekend. So again, this business of you think it's not accessible, it absolutely is. You just need to know about it. Okay, so that have our chance to make the next um, area we want to talk about. Um, so the, the bare boat charter is where you hire the whole boat. Um, you need it obviously to be qualified in order to hire the boat, and you need to have gone through the training, and you need to get at least the day, day skipper um, certificate with experience or the coastal skipper. Um, the great thing about um, the bare boat charter, you've got the freedom to charter anywhere. So you can charter in, in Croatia, charter in Solon, charter in Thailand, and the, the, the procedure and process is, is, is identical. Charter costs of a boat are very similar all over the world. Um, and the charter cost for a week may seem um, expensive, it could be between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. However, when you divide up the charter cost with the number of people on board, so you could have eight or 10 people on board, the actual cost per person is something like 100 or 200 pounds. So um, you get to sell, sell a, 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 perhaps a, a boat with an asset value of three or four, 500,000 pounds per 200 pounds a week per person. Um, the other aspect we want to talk about is buying a boat. Um, so when you buy a boat, um, not only should you remember um, to consider the actual cost of the boat, but all the other costs. Purchase of the boat, um, birthing of the boat, maintenance. And uh, um, an old fellow said to me once, um, once you add up all those costs, the bigger the boat, the bigger the expense, the smaller the boat, the bigger the fun. Um, a key thing in terms of um, purchasing the boat, not just the boat, is where you're going to keep the boat. Um, obviously, keep the boat where you can get access, access to it um, frequently. Um, and probably the most important um, um, thing to consider when you're buying a boat is the frequency of use. If you use the boat once a year, it's a lot of money to pay for a uh, 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 holiday once a year. And it's probably better just to charter the boat. And, uh, um, an interesting consideration um, would be to use um, a yacht management um, company um, who could charter the boat on your behalf when you're not using it um, to recoup some of the operational costs and bring a bit, bit of money in. So, hopefully, um, uh, we've, <laughs> we've demonstrated that um, um, yacht cruise is accessible and available to everybody. And now it's over to you guys. The adventure starts with you. <coughs> Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you.